In this slide, we will see simple squamous and simple cuboidal epithelium. The tissue comes from the kidney medulla, medulla of the kidney. Commonly, we call it the kidney papilla. It is stained with H and E. The H stands for hemostoxylin, E stands for eosine. Hematoxylin stains the nuclei of the cells and the basophilic cell organelles like the ribosomes, bluish purple. This we call basophilic, these structures we call basophilic structures because it's kind of bluish purple. The eosine, mostly it gives a so-called neutrophilic staining, that's a pale pink. Sometimes some structures will stain better with eosine, then it's more red and we call it called those structures eosinophilic or acidophilic structures. If we enlarge this preparation, then we will see cubelets in longitudinal and in cross sections. For example, here you see a nice cross section of a collecting cubule, and this is lined with cuboidal epithelium. In the case of cuboidal epithelium, the height and the width of the cell is about uh, the same size, and the cells, they have round nuclei. In another region here, you see longitudinal cuts of the ducts. This is, these are here also nice cuboidal cells. Next to these ducts, we see sometimes cross sections where the lining is not cuboidal epithelium. These cells are more flat. This is a, a squamous epithelium. This profile is the cross section of the thin segment of the Henle's loop. And so this is a simple squamous epithelium. Please note that these squamous cells here, they have though a little cytoplasm and the nuclei are oval, but the longitudinal axis is para uh, parallel with the surface. We have some other type of epithelium also. This is also a simple squamous epithelium, but we call these endothelial cells. Endothelial cells are lining the blood vessels and also the lymph vessels. So all vessels are on the inside uh, lined by endothelial cells, which I, I told it's a simple squamous epithelium. And these cells are very, very thin. Actually, you only see the nuclei of these cells. It's just a line, a contour that you see here in this case. If we move to another region of this slide, there these cross sections are already not that close to each other. So here you can observe better that between these ducts, there you have a loose connective tissue. The dominating cell, types, cell type in this loose, loose connective tissue are the fibrocytes. Uh, we will learn more about the connective tissue and also about the loose connective tissue later in the semester. Here you also see some cross sections of these uh, the blood vessels, venules. Here practically you don't even see the cytoplasm, you just see that something must border these cells, these red blood cells and white blood cells to keep them together. And uh, there are some other profiles like here, these have a, a larger thickness or this one here. These are here, the thin segments of the Henley's loop. And as we move further down, uh, these uh, uh, epithelial cells in these larger ducts, they become taller and taller. So we got, get to that point that we can, we can uh, say already that these are low columnar cells. As you see, the transition between the cuboidal and the columnar cells is not a sharp line. Maybe you could call these also a cuboidal cells, cell, which is taller, or a columnar cell, which is shorter. Uh, we won't argue on this. In the vicinity, again, you see the blood vessels, and here are the nuclei of the endothelial cells. This is, again, a thin segment of a handless loop. In between, you have the loose connective tissue.